Hello everyone, Matthew May here. In this video, I'll be reviewing and analyzing Titan Season 3 that's currently on HBO Max. I've enjoyed watching the series so far. I'll go over some of the topics in the video of what happened in the season. I'll let you know my rating at the end of this video. Thank you. The season starts off with the Titans in San Francisco after Wonder Girl died in the season finale of Season 2. As the reader knows, Rachel went to Paradise Island to help bring Wonder Girl back from the dead. Rachel told Dick that she thought she could bring Donna Troy, aka Wonder Girl, back from the dead. Dick says sometimes we cannot change the world. Rachel told him we must try. Jason told Bruce Wayne that he had the Joker dead to write. Bruce told him to wait. Jason decided not to and went after him. Jason was taking a drug that helped him with his fear. Jason went as Robin and later he got killed by the Joker. This is true to the movie I told you in my first season review of this series. Here's what I said in that review. Jason Todd was the one who becomes Red Hood as there is a cartoon movie which came out in 2010 and it was called Batman Under the Red Hood. Joker in that movie killed Jason Todd as well. This storyline is like that and Jonathan Crane takes Jason Todd to Lazarus to bring Jason Todd back from the dead. In that movie, Ra's al Ghul brings Jason Todd back from the dead. That is the only difference. As revealed in later in this season, the League of Shadows have put a Lazarus pit in Gotham. That makes sense as shown in Batman and Arrow, the pit was always a nanopar bat. They wanted it there in case Roz died in Gotham so they can bring him back to life. Therefore, he lived for a century. As known in the Bible, Lazarus was the one Jesus Christ brought back to life. If the beer finds out, Dick Grayson runs to Barbara Gore again. As shown in the comics and various depictions of this character, Barbara's the one who becomes Batgirl. As shown in Batman Beyond, Barbara Gordon does become the police commissioner of the Gotham City Police Department. She and Dick have some emotional baggage. But they worked that out later. Barbara and Dick work well together and it's obvious to the that they like each other. You can see in their body language and the way they act toward each other. Barbara is worried when Dick Grayson got hurt when he got hit by cars going after Jason Todd. She sat by his side once that happened. She wanted him to read the eye chart to make sure he had not suffered a concussion. Hank and Don are in Washington to see when the season begins. Hank and Don go to Gotham City to help Dick stop whatever signature is happening there. Hank later encounters Jason Todd, a.k.a. Red Hood. The encounter does not turn out well, as Hank is on the bad end of the stick to say least. What happens to Hank? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. Please, Bruce has left Gotham City after feeling guilty for letting Joker kill Jason. As the viewer sees in the first episode of this season, Bruce kills Joker as Batman. Batman was not known for killing him, but after Robin got killed, this is where he felt he had to take matters in his own hands. Dick and the Titans were on their own. The viewer gets introduced to Tim Drake at the first episode of this season. He's a mix of African American and Asian. According to www.chantertram.com, his mother is of Canadian descent from Toronto, Ontario. The actress who plays Tim Drake's mother is Chantra Tram of Cambodian descent from Toronto, Ontario. He's obsessed with finding out who Batman is and who the Titans are. He knows more than anyone does about them. Tim wants to be the next Robert. As shown in the comics and other depictions of this character, he does. There are three Robins that have been shown in the comics and other depictions of Robin and the DC Mofos. The Veer got introduced to Black Mary in Season 2 and looked like she was a bad guy. There is more of a meets the eye with this as Starfire was not supposed to have the pair that she has. It was revealed that her parents wanted Starfire to be queen instead of Blackfire. It was wrong, but that can happen in families if one wants the other child to be the heir, especially in royal families. Superboy, as was shown in Caesar's Dune, has Superman and Lex Luthor ability. He's a clone that is mixed race. He has Lex Intelligence and Superman Strength all rolled up in one body. This is such a cool character from that standpoint. Even he has doubts of what ha he can do, but he gains confidence once the season progresses. The goal of Jonathan Cray, aka Scarecrow, is to dose the city in fear gas that will make everyone kill each other, and he wants to create fear so that he makes the Titans into enemy number one. He wants to have bombs going off everywhere. He wants Gotham to destroy itself and build the village back like Rosal Gil did in Batman Begins. As not to spoil anymore, nothing more will be revealed here. It does bring the viewer to climax of the season. Answer these questions. Does Rachel, a.k.a. Raven, bring Donald Troy, a.k.a. Wonder Girl, back from the dead? What happens to Dick, a.k.a. Right Wing, in this story? 
What does Bruce Wayne plan? Does Bruce get over his demons that have been haunted? Do the Titans stop Scarecrow and Red Hood? Does Jason Todd repent? Does Superboy and Blackfire like each other? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you. I get Titan Season 3 a 10 out of 10. I thought it was well done and was faithful to the comics and the depiction of the sources that I mentioned in this review. It did an excellent job of showing and saying Crane is and that he's a psychopath. It shows that he has issues with mother as he killed his mother in this season. It shows the viewer that he has mommy complex when it bores on this kind of insanity. I want to be clear the air here. When I do reviews, I do not own the content. Even when I did reaction videos, I do not own the content that I'm reacting to. I always leave references in the description below to what I'm referencing to. Always look at that if you have doubts. I do my best to be as careful as possible. You would not review your own stuff. If I have offered a book or made a movie or TV series, I would want someone else to review it other than me. I would go with a bias. A third... A person of a th whose third party has no stake if it does well or not. Please be prepared for a live video coming up on June 9, 2022 at 8.30 Eastern Daylight Same Time. As I review Miss Marvel Season 1, Episode 1 in that video. I also will take questions and answer questions like I did in my last video when I answer a viewer's question about parallels. I'll also let you know what I plan to do for the channel. You can also make requests as well. Please go to www.matthewreviewer.com. Please check out the site and please consider supporting me there or hitting the Patreon button that is in the top right corner of the website. You can also hit the YouTube membership button that is in the top corner of the website to support me there. Thank you. Please consider becoming a Patreon supporter as your support will allow me to do this only this down the road. Let me ask you this question. Do you go to your job and want to work for free? I know that I do not. If that is the answer, please support me in the channel when you can. If you do not want to support me on Patreon Pay, please consider signing up for YouTube membership now that it is available. If you do any of these things, you're acting more than just appear. You're becoming some part bigger than yourself. You're joining a family and a community. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Without that, I would not be monetizing YouTube. Thank you for helping me to get the watch hours that I needed. If, if you know you can help support the channel, please do so. You're not required to do this, but you're acting out of a sense of idealism, which makes this better. You can say I'm supporting this channel because I believe in the content that this person is producing. If you do support me, thank you for your support. Please can also consider purchasing your own Super Chat and Super Stickers, which can be used for live streams and premieres. You could also consider purchasing Super Thanks here, which can be used for live, excuse me, for videos that are not live streams or premieres. If you do not want to become a Patreon supporter or sign up for YouTube memberships, you can also purchase these stickers as it will support the channel as well. If you do these things, thank you for some more. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos coming down the bottom of the video. Please download books, movies, and TV shows like V Next and Comment Chat Please share this with your friends and grow. Thank you for all of today.